Hello, welcome back to Steve's Retirement Corner. There's no need to freak out on a market collapse. That's the way I look at it. Now, I'm not retired yet, but this is my last year. But I'm not concerned at all about the market dropping. I just ain't. I mean, it's disheartening when you you lose fifty, a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, whatever you're gonna lose. But my thing is, you're gonna be in retirement for a long time. Chances are, you're gonna hit at least one, if not two, bad market periods. It's something to be expected when you're in the market. That's what it does. It goes up. It goes down. It goes up. It goes down. It's just, uh, it's the nature of the beast. But in my opinion, there's no other way to make uh, a decent profit. You can put it in the bank, you ain't gonna make no money. And bonds, you know I mean? You're not gonna make no money with them either. You know, real estate, you can make a pile of money at certain times, you know. But you gotta have a little bit of knowledge for that. You know, you just don't fire... You know, it's not as easy as buying a decent run company with a paying dividend and you know, you're gonna make a little bit of money on that. It's it's hard to lose on that if kept over time. It just is. You know, real estate's so up and down now, you know. So I mean you know, it's the only game going if you wanna make make a decent return. And so you, you got to expect the ups and downs. I know it's hard. It's hard and I'm working to see your your funds drop 10, 15, 20% or better. I, you know, my dad used to cry all the time about, man, I'm losing money left and right. But, you know, if you can just hang in there, you know. Now, they, you know, I mean, there's a debate whether markets always come back or not. You know, and, and I don't really care whether they come back or not. I mean, always. I just, I don't think about it like that. My thinking is that, uh, what other choice do you have? You know, if you're in it, you got to be able to ride it. And, you know, uh, most people are eternally uh, hopeful or optimistic. And so, you know, you think it's going to come back. It very well might not. But it, it, it's it got just about as good a chance of going on, keep going, coming back as it is of not coming back. So, you know, you know, I just, you know. In in times like these, it's good to have a, uh, that's when you really uh, are thankful you have a decent plan, decent retirement plan for your money. I mean, because chances are, if the stock market drops 20 or 30% or more, you're probably going to be down half of that maybe. Because uh, all your money is not in stocks. I mean, in a, if you got a retirement financial plan, you, you usually diversify. You got some in stocks, and you got some in bonds, you got some in cash, you might have some in real estate. You know, you're spread out. You know, and even if all your money is in the stock market, you're probably running a 70 30 or 60 40 split, maybe even an 80 20. So you're only getting a small, uh, you're getting a large percent of your money, but you're only getting a percentage of that is going to take a hit. And chances are it's not going to take as big a hit as what you see on there. It might take a bigger hit though, just depends on where it's placed at. So, I mean, if stock market's down twenty percent, you might go down twelve, something like that. If you're diversified right, and that's key. Yeah. 
But I think you ought to diversify according to your comfort level, too. So I know, man, I know it's hard to see that money go. It's hard to see it leave and you ain't had no use, ain't had a chance to use it yet. But you just got to hang in there and, and hopefully it'll come back, given enough time. And uh, I just don't see the need to worry about it. I really don't. It shouldn't be one of your worries when you're retired. Because it's going to happen. It should be expected. Well, they say that well, the S&P at any given year has, has an opportunity to go down 14%. So they're telling you right out the bat. You know, so... I mean, you can expect a 14% drop in any given year. That don't mean it stays down there all year, but it's going to drop 14% in any year. So once you understand that, and if you got it, if you got your stuff uh, split up, well, you ain't taking that full, full hit. It really shouldn't bother anybody. I don't know. Maybe next year when I'm sitting on my butt, it might uh might affect me a little more. <laughs> it it bothers me now, but I ain't worried about it really. Well, y'all tell me where I went wrong at. You'll be good. We'll talk at you later.